Hi, welcome back to our channel. Do you know about the new information about Australia's 2023-24 migration program? As the Australian government made an announcement regarding the planning level for the program, which will be set at 190,000 places. The objective of this permanent migration program is to tackle ongoing and emerging skill shortages by attracting individuals with specialised skill sets that are hard to find in Australia. The government aims to address these gaps in the labour market and ensure a robust workforce for the country's development. Stay tuned for more information on this issue. And if you find this content helpful, please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. Skilled Independent Visa Category for the 2023-24 Permanent Migration Program There have been 30,375 slots allocated for skilled independent visas. This is similar to the allocation of 32,100 places in the previous program for 2022-23. The reduction in the planning level for this category in 2023-24 is a result of the closure of the New Zealand stream of the subclass 189 skilled independent visa starting from 1 July 2023. This change is due to the introduction of a new direct pathway to citizenship for special category visa holders who meet the eligibility requirements for citizenship. The Global Talent Visa GTV program will maintain 5,000 places in the 2023-24 Permanent Migration Program. By retaining this planning level, they aim to address ongoing skill shortages while ensuring that Australia remains a competitive and preferred destination for exceptional talent from around the world. To manage the number of visas being processed, the government will extend funding for 500 visa processing offices, providing an additional $48.1 million over a period of 12 months. The recruitment of additional trained visa processing staff in 2022 and early 2023 has already significantly increased the capacity for visa processing. In addition, the government will invest $27.8 million over two years to upgrade the existing visa ICT systems in 2023-24. This investment will enhance the efficiency of visa service delivery, making Australia more attractive for talented individuals, students, and tourists in the global competition. Net overseas migration is important to note that the permanent migration program is just one component of net overseas migration NOM. NOM includes temporary migration, such as working holiday makers and students, as well as Australian citizens, New Zealanders, and humanitarian migrants. The forecast for NOM is 400,000 in 2022-23 and 315,000 in 2023-24. This increase is a result of the temporary catch-up from the pandemic, as temporary migrants return to Australia. However, the government expects this increase to be temporary, with NOM projected to return to normal patterns from 2024-25. The size of the permanent migration program has remained unchanged since 2022-23, and it is not the reason for the anticipated increase in NOM. In the short term, the permanent migration program has only a partial impact on NOM. Around 60% of visas under the Permanent Migration Program are granted to migrants who are already onshore and living in established households at the time of visa approval. This minimizes the immediate impact of the Permanent Migration Program on housing, infrastructure, and services. We hope you appreciate our efforts to provide important and accurate immigration information. Please share your feedback and suggestions in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, to show your support and yes don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for your valuable time, and we hope to see you again soon with another video. If you need any further assistance or want to discuss anything related to your immigration dreams, then you can book an expert consultation session with our team of registered migration consultants.